The year was 2017, and Apple was gearing up for a milestone. It was the 10th anniversary of the original iPhone, and they were celebrating it with the introduction of iPhone X. This was no ordinary release. It was Apple's statement to the world about the future of smartphones. iPhone X was unveiled at the Steve Jobs Theater in September 2017. The event was filled with anticipation and excitement as Apple fans and tech enthusiasts around the world waited to see what the company had in store. When Tim Cook took the stage, it was clear that this was going to be a memorable event. Cook described iPhone X as the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. Phil Schiller, Apple's Senior Vice President of Worldwide Marketing, took the stage to detail iPhone X's features. The crowd's reaction to each new announcement was a mix of awe and curiosity. This device was clearly different from any iPhone that had come before iPhone X came with several groundbreaking features that marked significant departures from the norm. The most obvious change was the new design. iPhone X featured an edge-to-edge -edge OLED display, which Apple called a Super Retina display. This meant that the front of the phone was almost entirely screen, with very thin bezels around the edges. The display measured 5.8 inches diagonally, making it the largest ever on an iPhone. Yet the phone itself was barely any larger than the previous models. The OLED technology was a first for iPhone, offering deeper blacks, more vibrant colors, and higher contrast ratios compared to the LCD screens used in previous models. This resulted in a much more immersive visual experience. For those who use their phones for media consumption, gaming, and photography, the improved display quality was a significant upgrade. One of the most talked about features was Face ID, a facial recognition system that replaced the Touch ID fingerprint sensor. Face ID used a combination of infrared and dot projection technology to create a detailed 3D map of the user's face. This system was housed in what became known as the notch at the top of the display. Face ID promised to be more secure than Touch ID, with Apple claiming that the chances of a random person being able to unlock your phone with their face were 1 in 1 million compared to 1 in 50,000 for Touch ID. The technology worked in various lighting conditions, and even adapted to changes in the user's appearance over time. With the introduction of Face ID, Apple also did away with the iconic Home button. This was a significant departure from the design language that had been a part of iPhone since its inception. In place of the home button, Apple introduced a series of new gestures for navigation. For example, swiping up from the bottom of the screen took users home, while swiping up and pausing opened the app switcher. This change required users to learn a new way of interacting with their device, but it also allowed for a larger screen-to-body ratio and a more streamlined design. Using the advanced facial recognition capabilities, Apple introduced Animoji. These were animated emojis that mimicked the user's facial expressions in real time. The True Depth camera system, which enabled Face ID, tracked over 50 facial muscle movements to animate these emojis. Animoji quickly became a fun and popular feature, especially for messaging and social media iPhone X was powered by the A11 Bionic chip, which was touted as the most powerful and smartest chip ever in a smartphone at the time. The A11 Bionic featured six cores, two high-performance cores that were 25% faster than the A10 Fusion chip, and four high-efficiency cores that were 70% faster. It also included Apple's first custom GPU, which was 30% faster than the previous generation. This chip enabled advanced machine learning capabilities, augmented reality experiences, and improved overall performance and efficiency. For users, this meant smoother multitasking, faster app launches, and enhanced gaming experiences. iPhone X also supported wireless charging, a feature that had been available on some Android devices but was new to the iPhone lineup. Apple adopted the Qi wireless charging standard, making it compatible with a wide range of third-party charging pads and accessories. This marked a step towards a future with fewer cables and more convenience. Now, despite all these impressive innovations, iPhone X was not without its controversies, starting with the notch. One of the most polarizing aspects of iPhone X was the notch at the top of the display. This was where Apple housed the front camera and Face ID sensors. While some users found it to be a minor inconvenience, others felt that it disrupted the sleek design of the phone. Memes and jokes about the notch quickly spread across the internet. 
Critics argued that the notch was a design compromise that disfigured the otherwise beautiful display. It interrupted full-screen content, especially when watching videos or playing games in landscape mode. However, Apple defended the notch as a necessary trade-off for the advanced technology it housed. Over time, many users grew accustomed to the notch, and even saw it as a distinct feature of iPhone X. This device also came with a heavy price tag, starting at $1,000. This was significantly more expensive than any previous iPhone model, and many customers and critics felt that it was too high. The price sparked debates about whether Apple was becoming too focused on luxury and losing touch with the average consumer. For some, the cost was justified by the advanced features and premium design. However, for others, it represented a barrier to entry. The high price point led to discussions about whether Apple was pricing out a significant portion of its customer base, particularly in emerging markets like India and China, where affordability was a crucial factor. There were also concerns about Face ID's security and privacy implications. Some people worried about the potential for hacking or misuse of facial data. Apple assured users that the facial recognition data was stored securely on the device and not uploaded to the cloud, but skepticism remained. There were also concerns about the technology's ability to differentiate between identical twins or high-quality masks. Early demonstrations showed that Face ID could be fooled by certain masks, although these instances were rare and typically involved sophisticated attempts to bypass the system. Overall, Face ID proved to be highly secure for most users, but the initial concerns highlighted the challenges of introducing new biometric technologies. There were also reports of iPhone X being more fragile than previous models. The edge-to-edge -edge display and glass back made it more susceptible to damage from drops. Although Apple claimed that the glass used was the most durable ever in a smartphone, users were still cautious. Repair costs for iPhone X were also higher than any previous model due to the complexity of the design and the use of advanced components. This led to further debates about the trade-offs between design and durability, and whether Apple should prioritize one over the other. With the removal of the home button, users had to learn new gestures to navigate the phone. While some people adapted quickly, others found it to be a frustrating experience. This was especially true for longtime iPhone users who were accustomed to the old way of doing things. Apple provided tutorials and on-screen prompts to help users transition to the new gestures, but the learning curve was still a challenge for some. Over time, however, many users found that the new gestures were intuitive and efficient, and the absence of a physical button became less of an issue. Despite the controversies, iPhone X had a profound impact on the future of iPhone and the smartphone industry as a whole. The edge-to-edge -edge display and notch design became a trend in the smartphone industry. Many Android manufacturers started adopting similar designs, and the notch became a common feature in many flagship phones. While some manufacturers experimented with different notch shapes and sizes, others eventually moved towards hole-punch displays or under-display cameras to achieve a similar effect without the notch. The emphasis on maximizing screen real estate and minimizing bezels influenced the design language of smartphones for years to come. iPhone X set a new standard for what a modern smartphone should look like, and its influence can be seen in today's designs. Face ID set a new standard for facial recognition technology in smartphones. Apple continued to refine and improve this technology in subsequent models, and other manufacturers also started to develop their own facial recognition systems. While some chose to stick with fingerprint sensors, others explored hybrid solutions that combined facial recognition with other biometric methods. The A11 Bionic chip was a significant leap in terms of performance and efficiency. It set a new benchmark for what a smartphone processor could achieve, and Apple's continued to build on this with each new generation of iPhone. The focus on powerful, custom-designed chips has allowed Apple to deliver cutting-edge performance and capabilities that are often unmatched in the industry. This emphasis on performance has driven advancements in areas such as machine learning, augmented reality, and computational photography. The capabilities of the A11 Bionic chip laid the groundwork for many of the features and experiences users now take for granted in modern smartphones. With the introduction of wireless charging on iPhone X, other manufacturers and accessory makers were encouraged to adopt and improve this technology. Wireless charging became more widespread and accessible as a result. 
the adoption of the Qi standard helped to create a more cohesive ecosystem of compatible devices and accessories, making wireless charging a more viable option for consumers. Apple's endorsement of wireless charging also led to further innovation in the space, with improvements in charging speeds, efficiency, and even convenience with MagSafe. As wireless charging technology continues to evolve, it's likely to become an even more integral part of the smartphone experience. The removal of the home button and introduction of new gestures shifted user expectations and interactions with their devices. While it was initially controversial, it paved the way for more innovative designs and user interfaces in the future. The success of these changes demonstrated that users could adapt to new ways of interacting with their devices, and it encouraged further experimentation and innovation in the industry iPhone X also helped to redefine what users expected from a premium smartphone experience. The emphasis on premium design, performance, and advanced features set a new standard for flagship devices. And as the quality of these devices has improved over time, so has the price. So iPhone X was a crucial device that marked a significant shift in Apple's approach to smartphone design and technology. While it faced its fair share of controversies, its influence on the future of iPhone and the broader smartphone industry is undeniable. The technologies it introduced set new standards and trends that continue to shape the market today. Despite the initial skepticism and challenges, iPhone X ultimately proved to be a critical and commercial success. It provided more revenue for Apple than any iPhone model in history at that point, and its influence can still be seen on the iPhone models we use today. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.